Okay. Hi. Uh, a hello to future everyone. Right now, no one is here, but eventually, someone will watch this video when it's not live. And you're important too. I hate live videos that start with the person saying, well, I guess we'll wait for some people to show up. Like the ones watching later are not important. I think you're important. Come with me. I'm going to say hi to the people who are live and not the people who are watching later. But I'll say hi to you in the comments if you like. Okay, so I have to find my video, set up on the computer. This is the Sunday or Never Promised video. That's how that works. Don't know how long I'll be on. I have some stuff to do. Let us pop out chat. Let us pop out chat. Let us mute. And now I start saying hot. Oh, wait. Gotta make the text bigger. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Larry Hughes, Ezekiel Bradshaw, the holiday guy. Hello. Um, I don't I don't recall seeing you watching a live before. Welcome to thanks for joining us. Greg Watkins, hello, Chad Smith, Finn Godwell. Ken Zarish, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the lives, Holiday Guy. Harry Fulbaum III, Michael J. Lassiter, South Omaha Horror, John Royski, Richard Glad, and Susan Atai, hello. Ashley N.P., Christina Manti, uh, Josh Howard, hello. Philly G1001, Happy Bojo, DM Cash, Warmonger, and hello, Holiday Guy. Yet again, we say hi. Ron Sheps, and then uh, Stanley S. Kiss My Glass Custom Engravings is with us once more. Thank you for joining us. Uh, 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 this is very hard to keep straight. Jeremiah Dempsey, the little gypsy. Hello, little gypsy. Um, Line Cook Thor 2006, Jamie Thaxton, longest name on YouTube. Blackcraft 27, Stephen Scott. Uh, uh, yes, I am mostly self-taught. Um, yes, I am mostly self-taught. Sinister Spawn, hello. Courtney Pepino, uh, The Holiday Guy, DJ, DJ J Dino Mike. J, DJ J Dino Mike. Did I say that right? Did I put it together on your license plate of a YouTube name? Uh, PSUM45, PSUM45. Dent Arthur Dent. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Celeste Kitty is here. Ellis Fire is here. Randy Koberski. Uh, hello. Thanks for joining us. I have I don't recognize your name. Mike Hart. Hello from Southern Indiana. Well, hello from Texas, I should say. Mike Murphy. Owen Roberts. Lisa Smith. Lisa Arvind. Okay. There we go. All right. So that's enough. Oh, and Tugworks goes. I'm outside the moon. All right. Um, so there's a lot going on today. Uh, I was I was a very busy boy. Um, so you saw Jack Frost yesterday. He got another coating of blood, and he's not really Jack Frost. He is random elf-like guy who uh, has Christmas balls stuck in his face. That's 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 who he is. So let's uh, show him to you. And I had some questions about, won't those just fall off? Well, I've done a couple things that I think means no, they won't. A, it's a half mask. So it's elastic straps in the back. It's not like you're stretching it over your head every time. So that helps. But also, if you look where these big openings are, there's a gap there. If that was one long line glued, um, then the latex wouldn't have any room to stretch without popping that bond. But because I glued it in two points, there's it can. This is a little flexible too, so this can open up a little bit as this latex stretches and moves. So that is our um, bad day elf, is what that is. All right. Now, here we go. You might be moving to Texas. Uh, I well, it depends on what part of Texas. Texas is massive. It's about the size of, you know, 
six or seven other states put together. So what part of Texas? When I know what part, then I can help you. Here we go. Yeah, uh, I love Wrightson's uh, visual look of Frankenstein. Cat Swift, I'm glad you stayed in the room. Hello? Yes? Okay, so uh, I'm monitoring comments for a while by myself. The wife will probably join me. And you know what? I'm just going to prep her a spot over here because that's what I have to do. It's like cleaning, only you just pile everything on the other side of the table. Uh, Texas is the size of Western Europe. You are correct. Okay, so just so you guys know, um, YouTube always sends their creators, well, I don't know about always, but I get like a weekly email message from YouTube that tells me things that I could be doing better on my YouTube channel. And now there's a little grid on my phone and it wants me to keep my eyes in the upper third of the video. And half the time, like, this is what you guys are looking at. <laughs> YouTube is suddenly saying, you suck at this. I don't know why people watch you. But that's how it goes. <sighs> uh, yes, there, there's, there's a Gamera in our future. Uh, so this is Gamera uh, here. The tusks are in. As you can see, uh, the eyes will go in after he gets painted, and uh, we will be painting him tonight. So, yeah, camera. Who knew? You know what? You people who are on me about my glasses, this is what Mr. Hops did after that day where I couldn't find my glasses. Ordered myself 10 pairs of glass. Oh, you guys can't see. I ordered myself like 10 pairs of glasses off Amazon. I have lots of glasses now. Ha ha. I'm going to grab a set. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you enjoy seeing the process. These are black glasses. I haven't had black glasses. Well, all right, so these are, there's a couple different types, but they're all my prescription, which is 1.25. But these are black. Normally I wear tortoise glasses because I like color. And I can't wear them like just around. I'm a little unfocused, but not as bad as the other day. I do have a red Stanford Court of Glasses. Uh, the drawer's going to be empty eventually, I know. Yes, but Ezekiel, you're also a continent, okay? You're cheating. Like, of course, any place that's, that's a country and a continent, it's its own continent. It's going to be bigger, you know? I, I'm going to give you that, yes. So how about this? Texas is pretty big for not being a continent. Another one in Longview, we're all close to Longview, Texas. So there are good haunts out that way. For sure. Don't recognize you with that with that with my glasses on. Gotcha. Different person. You can't do a rub out with 70% alcohol. Well, hold on. That's what you do rub outs with. 70% alcohol and uh, alcohol-based ink. But you can't do any alcohol-based ink painting before you do the rub-out. It has to be all latex, and then you do the rub-out. Because anything that's alcohol underneath will get taken away by the alcohol in the rub-out. Uh, thank you, Blackcraft. Uh, I've been in here working, actually, most of the day. Uh, 
Fright, Fright Fair weekend is at the Dallas DFW Airport, basically. Nate Slanker, yo. All right, so I better start doing something. I'm just kind of hanging out and talking to y'all. Um, so my first battle, you know what? Focus. I'm going to grab a stand. I'm going to get some base color on camera. CM, I'm glad that you, uh, I'm glad that, well, I'm a little weird, CM. Like, my channel does some weird stuff. I'm pretty niche. So, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying what you're seeing. I'll be right back. I can grab a thing. Chad Smith, that's that's very interesting. Uh, might have had just too much pigment in it, in it, and it dyed it. Have to be on this side because uh, I need to see the thing. Okay, so this has to live here, but. I need to uh, hold that sucker down. Yeah, that is a big, expensive block of silicone. Yeah, that's, that's roughly a $400 mold, that silicone mold. It's muy pricey. Okay, post it when you get out of Facebook jail. Uh, about 12 years, yes. 12 years I've had the channel. But I'm also pretty bad at this. This whole YouTube thing. Yeah, I figured you would enjoy this if you got to see it plastic. Those are definitely Harbor Freight gloves, you are correct. Uh, who does are on? They're actually on the, uh, the, the video right now. And uh, you're going to think I'm a little weird on this paint job. You'll have to trust me. If they, if they want people to know whose gamma it is, I'm sure they will reveal themselves. Uh, isn't that silicone dish soap method easy? I did a lot of uh, like YouTube Wednesday videos. And these teeth were quite a bit of engineering in order to uh, get them in and have the jaw look as nice as it does. But it worked out. I'm a happy. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, do more alcohol. I mean, really, like it should be, you know, ten percent uh, tops of uh, ink and mostly alcohol. Damra, the creepy protector of children. Yeah, because that's what a that's what a child protector needs to be. Four hundred feet tall. <laughs> I love all the little skin tags that happen in this guy um, with the texture from the from the sculpture. I mean, um, just that, that's pretty nice. The texture bit. Thanks, Scott. And Scott, um, not often, like maybe once an hour, no more. Um, if you want, can, can you grab that PayPal link off of the front? Because uh, a lot of people don't want to do Super Chat because it uh, changes things. Uh, I would say definitely stilts are more safe. Gamera does have a neat pantheon of monsters. I like the knife-headed, is that Gaos? Gaos? Ga Gaos? I did finally get a PayPal button. Um, Yes. Uh, Baba, how does what change things? The, the PayPal over the super chat? The uh, basically, okay, basically, um, the PayPal, um, the super chat takes, YouTube gets 30%, all right? so. So if someone super chats me ten dollars, I get seven. That's very cool. Okay, that that's that's not bad. I understand. It's their platform. They have expenses. Sure. Um, yeah, it takes thirty percent. Um, and you know uh, that that's a little high. And some people, if they want to give, they make sure they want to make sure it's going to the right place. Um, yeah, I'm uncomfortable now, so I'm not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to be putting on this base coat with a brush because I'm not going to necessarily do it even. Um, I'm doing a couple different um, types. Doing a couple different colors, and I'm going to kind of uh, just put them on. What you guys can't see is I'm, I have one color here that I've already mixed, and another color here that I'm mixing, and they're going to be a little bit different. Oh, Legion! Yeah, he's from the new. He's from the last uh, last series of them. Yeah, I think my favorite Godzilla for, uh, villain is probably Biolante. I like I like him a lot. So I'll do a rub out over top of this because Gamera is very dark, very dark. So you know, I just want to have some variation in what I'm doing right here. Um, I, I'm in a position here where um, you guys are so very kind to me. Just not just in you know, yeah. Um, I, my dogs get presents. I get presents. Um, you know, um, you're just very kind people. And one of the smartest things I think I've ever done is at the beginning of this pandemic has just said, you know what, let's go live. Let's go live and stay live. Let's get people something to do at home. Let's get people's minds off of what's happening. One of the smartest decisions I ever made because it sort of re it started us building this great community that we have here on the channel.
Okay, and I know that that does not look like it's the right color, but it's going to be because we have to bump over this. Uh, you guys are very kind. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Next scare training. Um, I, I don't have anything scheduled right now. Uh, this is such a crazy time. And it's not being cleared up is what's sad about it. Yes, I knew about that, about uh, Biolante. That's uh, what an interesting character it makes. And I have three colors that I'm putting down here, and then I'll do a real dark rub out. And uh, Chad, I'm gonna do a uh, alcohol rub out on this. So, just so you know. Uh, Catherine Dempsey, my answer is oil paint. Uh, just get a decent quality oil paint. I keep a lot of those on hand in order to um, tint silicone caulking. Oil paint is the best thing to use. I actually have a video called uh, Ice Gore Snot, I think it's called, or Mixing Naphtha with Silicone Caulk, it's one of them. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh, someone using the word scumble. Look at you, Mr. Fancy Artist Pants. Yes, I am doing a scumble. I am doing a scumble. You're absolutely right. Uh, I'm going right over these teeth because I, I need to paint them anyway. Um, it's not, it's not how to get Greg. Uh, I hate the words how to get past or get around. Uh, the answer is pay for insurance. Um, we are, we are putting people in a dark area where they might run. Um, insurance is just a really good idea, man. Um, so there's, there's not a lot of red tape. It's you, you call the, I use Donay insurance. Uh, Ken Donay just died, but the company is still going on. Um, uh, so I use Donay insurance and, um, you, you call, you tell them your expected, your expected throughput. You answer a couple questions. Like, do you have a slide or anything like that? And, uh, and then they give you a quote for insurance. It's not that bad. It's not as expensive as you think. Um, for my haunt where I worked very hard to keep my customers under 10,000 at that, at that small haunt I used to own, um, and my insurance was in the, you know, it was under $2,000 a year every year. Uh, Lurchy, scumble is a little bit, so what, how I have been taught scumble is you use different colors and wet and you kind of blend them together while they're wet. So there's different patches of these different, slightly different colors going on in here. And, but they're all blending together because of uh, how they're going on. Um, uh, he looks good. He's, uh, he's over there right now, and I will uh, show him later.
while this guy is drying this base coat, I will probably uh, start painting some elves. Uh, yes, I would recommend uh, Job and then Monster Camp in that order, Christina. Yeah, I mean, sure, insurance is just that. It's, I mean, if something happens, and you know what, and things happen. I, I've worked at a haunted house where someone died while we were open. Uh, they had a heart attack going through and they died. Um, uh, not any that I'm at right now, but I, it, it happened. So you know, there can be lawsuits from that, obviously. And uh, it, it's a good to be protected. And uh, you know, make sure you're also incorporated and your haunted house is being done by the corporation so that you have a layer of protection for your personal assets. You know, you want to lose your house because uh, an employee, you know, broke someone's nose with a chainsaw by accident. And all that kind of stuff happens. You saw a video I did five years ago. Well, I saw a video that I did 15 years ago. Well, 12. Uh, Shannon the Doggos will be over here eventually. Uh, well, come on out to a monster camp. David? Um, that's that's what they're for. Um, lots of people who have made who make masks already uh, come to Monster Camp. Yeah, so Gamera is so dark, and uh, this head sculpt is a little bit different than than Gam Well, this is not obviously this was not making the Gamera sculpt, but it is a giant monster turtle. So, in some senses, let's just say close enough. Sure, Jones will be in eventually. Ike, what uh, what video did you see from five years ago? Um, Finn, I won't be adding the owl bear to the bingo because that's for sculpting, and this is already sculpted. I'll be making an owl bear out of this sculpt here. This, this turtle is what I'm going to turn into an owlbear because the head is similar enough. Um, okay, so the Savini School is not bad. Uh, that is in Pennsylvania. Um, Complexions out of uh, Canada is a pretty good makeup school. Um, cinema, cinema FX School. But I also recommend like online stuff, like the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. Um, maybe one day down the road I'll start something, but uh, mine will be more um, fabrication based, I think, rather than uh, what you would call makeup based. Uh, the tusks are white, but uh, I want, this all has to feel like it's kind of the same thing. So having just a nice, even coating over everything is going to really help. Um, I what, what those were is, uh, hello, Ontario, Canada. Hello, Bill. Bill Hillier, you've been on before um, a while ago. Uh, they were Luon. They were quarter-inch Luon, and we just painted them back black with a sprayer. So there's, there's no magic to it. It's a uh, Luon, so it's a nice flat surface for painting. Um, and they're also light to carry around, which is important to me. Well, it all, it all depends um, because I, uh, I have to look at, you know, what... I think that what making stuff is, is certainly a, a viable thing. It, it's a, it's a service and it's a skill that does need to be taught and shared. And I don't think that we have a very effective way of teaching it right now. Uh, everybody is kind of self-teaching themselves all over the internet and whatnot. Um, and I think that we could do a better job of, of teaching, of sharing. Okay, so that is a base green and I'm gonna move him into the other room um, never ending story turtle. Yeah. I want to move in the other room with fans so that hopefully he'll dry shortly. 
there's a lot of paint on here and it's pretty wet. I'm used to dry brushing, so yeah. Thank you, Scott, for that video link. it up and moved it I saw a couple spots that just needed uh, a little more paint let's grab a brush get some paint on it you're coming with me it's a field trip you want to see a dead body welcome to the room of fan noise pouring up lots of elves for me. Morla. I was a fan of the nothing. I thought that wolf looked pretty cool. Kaiju Orochi. Um, that's not the octopus monster, is it? I don't, I don't know who that one is. No, no, Joe. Joe, this is not original. This is, that's Gamera. That is a Japanese kaiju monster from, um, Dai, the Dai Studios. Uh, but there, there were, for the giant monster genre, they were uh, the best rival for Toto. Yes, I have seen that one. Uh, he's in Destroy All Monsters, isn't he? Wife, I have you a, a spot prepped. It's right over her. Now the wife and doggos are here. I have things for you too. Have your glasses. Oh, wife did bring glasses. I also brought you a back brace. Oh, thank you. The wife is here to read comments. I won't miss as many. Okay. There's 137. I'm a little buried. No, people. Man, you got the sexy job of doing laundry. I had to come over here and make the monsters. <laughs> that ain't fun or fair. do laundry. So it, exciting. So, when I was a kid, my favorite book um, that I would check out of the library all the time was Norse Gods and Legends. I actually bought a copy of it, and now I have it in my office. And in it, it, uh, it, and when it talks about Thor, very different from Marvel Comics Thor, you know, it's the, the Norse Thor. He has a magic hammer with a very short handle because he was impatient and he wanted it before it was finished. So the handle wasn't long enough and a very short handle. Um, and so he has that, the hammer, Mjolnir, and then he has um, a magic girdle of strength and an iron mitt which allows him to catch the hammer. Uh, now, you don't see Thor use an iron mitt in Marvel, um, and I don't know about his girdle, but uh, it occurred to me it was a girdle of strength that let it be stronger. Hold on, I have to stop my dog from eating something. Horace, a good dog wouldn't chew on that, buddy. A good dog would not chew on that. That's not for you. That's, this, is, this is wool. He's a good boy. And you got this out of a drawer. Okay, so don't get it out of the drawer. This is, this is this is mine. I need this. Sorry, had to uh, 
teach some life lessons to the dog girl. Alright, um, but anyway, it occurred to me that Thor's magic girdle was a back brace. It's a weightlifting belt, so when you lift heavy weights, you need a, a weightlifting belt. And I thought that was the coolest thing. He wants Why to Scott, what name is the PayPal under? The lake is the generic PayPal link. I don't want somebody the wrong person. Okay. Um, you have to you have to talk to your pets and make sure they understand what you want and what you don't want. The PayPal. Okay, so the the pay just if you go to the channel. If you, if you go to the YouTube channel page, on the right-hand side, you'll see a little P button, which is a PayPal link, which goes, it sends money to uh, my channel's PayPal. I don't know if that link is correct. I hate to say this, but Scott, if you could post the link again, maybe Shannon can check it and just see if it goes to the right place. I don't know how that works. I'm not a smart man. I know that someone used it last night and uh, it did work. So. But the the Gmail, if if you're just curious about the Gmail, the Gmail is still be at gmail.com. So cat, hang on. Cat Hang on. Very slow internet. Cat, it's um. Hang on a second. Can you just check Scott's link that he just posted? I just I just checked. It. To go to the right place? It went to still be studios, yeah. Great. Yes, yeah, Scott's link is correct. And and Scott's link works, Cat. You're doing the same thing if you're donating to still be studios at gmail.com. So either way it, it goes to the right place. Where we just put the link there so you didn't have to type it in. It makes it a little easier. People have requested it. Oh that's great, thank you. What's great? The people have requested it. Yeah, thank you. Well, you've been here. Well, that's just so nice. Okay, so I am grabbing uh, L and just getting a base on them. anything that doesn't have um, monsters or sword fighting. It's got to have at least one of those, even better if it has both. Um, so probably my favorite horror movie. The Krampus movie that came out a while ago was really excellent. Uh, Krampus was great. Uh, I, it was really fun. Um, I enjoyed that. Um, I also enjoy Trick or Treat. That is an excellent horror movie. I love The Howling. The Howling was really good. Um, I really like that one. I love those werewolves in there. Um, let's see. Jennifer Pugh says you have groovy pants. Oh. Blackcraft27 says Thanks. Lord of the Rings has both sword fighting and monsters. And I love the Lord of the Rings uh, series. Plastic Ninja says, I've immediately to thank you, Alan. I used your advice on giving my force of famine, a mouth of teeth, you've turned out great. Oh, excellent. I'm so glad. I love that. Hoyt's font says hello. Hello, Hoyt's. Bill Hiller says, what I like is Cat's Eye. I don't remember what year it was from. I remember Cat's Eye, yeah. Ben Donald says, Nightbreed. No, your Joe says, The Howling. N Nightbreed is amazing. Nightbreed's in my top ten movies. Uh, Legend is in my top ten movies uh, with uh, Meg Mucklebones and uh, Darkness and Nyx. Blix. Blix. Uh, 
American Werewolf in London is great. Uh, it's good. Um, not my favorite movie, Werewolf. Salty Sprint said you liked uh, Sybil Shepherd in The Howling. Um, no, no. Actually, there was a werewolf lady who was not Sybil Shepherd. Uh, the, the pretty werewolf sister lady. I had a post. That's like the only girly poster that I had when I was a kid. Um, was Fangoria had a um, a fold out poster of the werewolf lady from that, and uh, that actress unfortunately passed away. But uh, that was she was smoking hot, man. <laughs> Captain Mojo. Then the question is, what do you consider a monster? Is Leatherface a monster? King Kong, Cujo? No, Leatherface is just a jerk. Like he just kills people. He's a jerk. There's no supernatural element to um, to him. Now, I get where you're going with that. You can say that there's no supernatural element to King Kong. He is just a creature of nature. Um, but I think he's pushed so far outside of what normal nature is. I I feel okay calling him a monster. Um, I feel like Jaws, the shark from Jaws, good old Bruce, is on the cusp of what I call a monster. Uh, I think, I think that, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I would say, you know, um, Lake Placid, that's an excellent monster movie. It's a big monster. That's your, is it supernatural? No, but, um, well, yes, it is supernatural. So I feel good about saying that's a monster movie. Love Lake Placid. Uh, Oliver Platt was great in that. A lot of conversation going on here, so I'm going to read you some comments. Okay. Alan, have you seen the movie Dog Soldiers? If so, did you like those wolves? Uh, I saw the movie Dog Soldiers. I think that the Dog Soldiers werewolves are the most overrated werewolf design in werewolf movie history. Everybody says they love them. It's a wolf head on top of a hairless man's body and it's a guy on haired stilts. Um, there's not enough hair on that werewolf for me. I would much rather see the werewolf from the movie Cursed or the one from the movie Bad Moon. Both of those are excellent werewolves. But I am not, um, I'm not a big fan of the design of dog soldiers. They don't they have hairless chests. So weird. Next. Uh, <clears throat> Harry Fulbaum says that American Werewolf in London is his favorite werewolf movie. It's a good one. It's a good one. I think I mentioned that in my little ranty tirade. Hey there, Captain Marga and Myra. Greg Watkins wants to be Alan Hoffs and he has to grow up. The uh, Crazy Hoss says, as somebody who works as a vet, the monster in Cujo was the owners of the dog. Um, yes. Uh, well, Yes. Now, rabies was rabies is the real monster the whole time. I mean, I, I think there's Cujo wasn't a mean dog until rabies happened. So uh, I don't necessarily agree with you. Although I didn't, I don't remember the movie well enough to remember if there was any abuse or anything. Well, he said they neglected the hell out of the dog, and it was not his fault he got rabies. Oh, so that okay. That made him very mad. Didn't he chase something and he ate a bat? Richard Blattens asked, "Do you like waxwork?" We've learned our lesson on waxwork. That is a great movie, Werewolf. Um, at that point in time, when waxwork came out, um, there was a TV show called Werewolf, and uh, Rick Baker did the Werewolf on that, and it, it's masterful, beautiful Werewolf on that show. Waxwork Werewolf looks very similar, wonderful. Are these masks for any movie monster movie? No, I, I don't make stuff for movies. I make stuff for haunted houses. Uh, I'm not a movie special effects guy, I'm a haunted house special effects guy. Just like they are specialized at what they do, I am specialized at what I do. Um, I do things for haunted houses. So my, my stuff has to um, be durable and hold up now and night after night. You know, they don't, they're not going to go back and stop filming to, you know, they don't stop customers from going through to fix a costume. It doesn't happen in haunted houses. So it has to be durable. Now, if you lose a little bit of looks, you do. Um, so movie stuff looks better, but um, my stuff lasts longer. You know, I had I had to answer some questions for someone last night of a uh, a mask that was bought in 2008 from me. 
And uh, he's like, did you make this? Is it still kicking around that haunted house? Uh, Michael Myers has a supernatural element. Doesn't that make him a monster? Um, uh, it, to a degree, yes, yes. Michael Myers now has a supernatural element. The first Halloween did not have a supernatural element. The second Halloween really didn't have a supernatural element. He was just a real tough to kill dude. Um, uh, the third Halloween was great. Didn't have Michael Myers in it, but there was a supernatural element. Sam says, seeing those details pop on those masks as you dry brush them is so satisfying. Well, it's, uh, it is. It is. It's one of the methods that I love. And this looks like a dark mess until you drag that brush over it. And you drag that brush over it, you go against the grain of the sculpture detail, and then it all just pops out. Hey, Jerry Collins. I know that the red lines go this way, go this way, so I'm going to brush this way. I know that these lines go here, go this way. You know, you go across where those lines are, and everything just shows up. Marshall Moore says maybe he's extra natural as opposed to supernatural. And Ike Camacho says your set painting video really has me fired up for the next year's haunt. Thank you. Awesome. I love doing set painting. Uh, that's one of the things. I, I, I think murals are really underused in uh, haunted attractions. You know, uh, uh, painting a nice mural on a wall before you decorate the room can just make the room feel twice as big. It can uh, really reinforce the thing. They have, the they dogs have acres. are, they have the whole shop, they have okay, acres to and they're run. fighting right up against my legs. This is, this is what's happening here. She was backing into me while they're play wrestling. We gotta jump in here. Okay, uh, Salty Sprint says my favorite movie is Chud. Chud, cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. dweller. Excellent. Uh, Ezekiel says Twilight is a horrible movie. Uh, well, I don't know if that's true. I don't like its presentation, and it wasn't aimed for us. It wasn't made so that we would like it. It was made for tweens to like it. And uh, we were older than its target demographic. So I don't think it was a horrible movie. I think it uh, demasculated vampires uh, pretty heavily. I think it, it hurt vampires on the world stage as a supernatural force to be reckoned with. Um, that that uh, altering the, the perception, I think that kind of started a little bit with Anne Rice, who did vampires very well. Um, and then, you know, you go down a few iterations, and then you get to Twilight. And uh, yeah, then there's Sparkly. What do you do? I know Underworld is edgy, but what about those werewolves? Um, I, I like them. Uh, I like them. I like the Underworld lichens. Now, if you go back, and I think it's one, whatever one of the Underworld movies, um, they deal with William, the first werewolf. That's a beautiful suit. That is a beautiful costume. Uh, he's like this white werewolf, and it is sweet. So that's one of my favorites. And another one of my favorite werewolves is George from a TV show called Being Human. And it's the UK version, I think, not the United States version. It's a beautiful werewolf suit. Drop Dead Studios. Hey, Alan, I was wondering if you sculpted a mask in Monster Play and plan to mold it in Ultra Cow, what do you do or use to keep the sculpt intact for mask variations, etc.? Thank you in advance. You don't. Uh, one, if you're molding in plaster, your sculpt is toast. Because you're going to have, it's, you can't do that. You would have to mold in silicone, make a silicone mold of your sculpture, free that, take that off, and then mold in plaster. And then you do a clay pour, because monster clay in a crock pot, I have a crock pot full of it right up there. Uh, monster clay in a crock pot, you can pour into that silicone mold, take it off, retool your sculpt a little bit, and that's how that's done. You make a silicone mold before you make a plaster mold. Adolfo or Darren? Or Darren? Or Ordinez? Adolfo. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Just to say hello. And oh. Warmonger says, did you like the monster from the film Cloverfield? Um, I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, it, it was good. I'm
sucker for uh, found footage movies anyway. Uh, I actually like that style of storytelling. So, um, it, it, like, I love the novel Dracula, and the novel Dracula is, it's, it's written in such a way, it's like a found footage book, because it's, you know, the captain's log of the Demeter, it's letters back and forth um, between Lucy and Mina and journal entries, and so it's like a found footage book. Um, and I like that style, and I feel like a lot of the found footage movies, you know, emulate that. Boyd's Haunt says, I didn't care for the wolves and dog soldiers either. And yes, Bad Moon wolves are awesome. I did like the werewolf in King's Silver Bullet. Uh, yeah, he looked a bit like a bear, but I liked him. Uh, Heaven Mojo says, I think people rate the dog soldiers higher because of the twist and the idea of werewolves and guns mixing together. American Werewolf did that first with the dream sequence. Uh, yes, with the uh, Nazi werewolves. Bill Miller says, the dog in Cujo got hit by the guy in the scrapyard with a shovel to try and get him to obey. Leo, okay, so then, yes, there there is an abuse there. Peter Richardson says, Underworld's lichens were the best werewolves. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll fist fight you on that one, but you're entitled to your opinion. KBL. Understand, though, it's an opinion, and it's not fact. Yeah. Katie Elliott says, hello, I'm still stuck in bed with really poorly and can't sleep. May I hang out with you guys? Hang on out. Come on. Greg, Wa Greg Watkins, speaking of King Kong, I had the opportunity and pleasure of meeting and having lunch with Fay Ray one summer during college when I was an assistant tech director at a sunny summer stop. She was delightful. That's awesome. I bet she was. It is. Celeste Kitty, didn't you work with the fact or fake show? I hate those. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I, I did finish. some work with... I finish. Oh. Uh, my, my, my feed jumped um, way behind. Didn't you work with the fact or fake show? I hate those people, by the way. No one would have the funds they did to recreate most of that crap. No, I did not do any work with the fact or fake show. I did some costume stuff that later, I didn't know what it was for, and later it was used for Freaky Links, which was a TV show by the Blair Witch guys. TBR is bad, says hello. Um, Hello. <laughs> Skeleg00 says, hey, Tutwork Studio agrees with Lita about uh, the best werewolves. Was it so, what was the best werewolves that she said that you said you'd fight her for? She said on the world was the best werewolves. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to say the Howling, the original, were some of the best werewolves. Marshall Morris, very fond of the giant bugs in the Mimic trilogy. Oh, Mimic is great. Um, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan. Al Matra says hello. Uh, hello. Celeste Kitty says Ann Rice, who hates anything and everything, not Bible thumping now. Uh, Ronald Bryan said, love being human. Yeah, yeah, good show. Bill Hiller says the vampire movie that I really liked was Queen of the Dead. Ken, okay. Ken Zarish would like to know your opinion on Hellboy. Uh, okay. I love the new Hellboy. I love the new, I thought it was fun. I thought it was very close to the comic. I also love the Ron Perlman version. Um, there's something about the Hellboy aesthetic of he is a monster hunter. Uh, like, that appeals to me. I play a monster hunter I, at, a, at a Renaissance festival. I own a monster museum. So that kind of using relics and that kind of stuff, that all that's a mythology that I really enjoy. So I am genetically engineered at this point in my life to enjoy the Hellboy movies. And I do. But... I like to enjoy things. I don't go to a movie to, and it has to prove itself to me. No, I want to have fun. Did I have fun? Great. Here's how much I enjoy having fun at movies. I thought George Clooney was a fine Batman. <laughs> and if you, if you want to work as hard as I do at having fun and having a good time, then you too could enjoy the George Clooney Batman. Happen and Mojo says Twilight is good for introducing some young girls who historically didn't like that stuff to a horror element with a crappy love story. Anything I that <coughs> furthers supernatural horror is good uh, because it's going to make people make more and it's going to make young people and creators down the road um, do their own spin on it. And I think it's a good thing. Michael Lasseter says William, William is one of my favorites also. 
Yeah, yeah, killer, man. Good uh, stuff. Katie Elliott said, you can't be human was brilliant. Yes. Tony Ronsden, Hellboy is the bomb. Tutwork Studios. An axe on the moon! Alan, what is your difference between monsters and creatures? Um, I, I, I use kind of that the same. However, um, a monster is evil on purpose, and a creature is just living its life, man. Like, I, I, I want to eat. Uh, people are good. Let's grab one of those. That's a creature. A monster is, is a little bit more evil than that on purpose. They're evil for evil's sake. Um, I don't like it when movies play uh, regular animals out like they're monsters. In that they're thinking, they're calculating, and they're doing anything other than what they have to do to reproduce and eat. That's what they have to do, and that's what that's what drives most animals. Um, except maybe people, but also kind of people. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, is Freddy Krueger supernatural? He is very much supernatural. He attacks you in your dreams. Robert White says hello. Head Static says the UK version is absolutely 100% better. Marshall Morris says there's a great vampire movie called Byzantine. No, Byzantium. Uh, made by the director of Interview. Cool. Josh Newman says hello. I will check that out. Head Static said the Netflix TV series Dracula was pretty good. It was a different take, but I enjoyed it. I did too. I really enjoyed it. We did not watch the last episode because I heard it took such a turn for the rails and I really enjoyed what it did up until that point. And then things change at the end of that second one. It was a three-part series, if I recall. Um, he was a fun Dracula. But yeah, he was a good Dracula. Yeah, he was I, good. I like that. Uh, Marshall Morris, how about an Aussie werewolf in the Barker movie? Um, that is a great Wolfman design. That is so scary. I mean, they did such a wonderful job. I have a friend who I just we message back and forth on Instagram or whatever or Facebook. And uh, we we just sent to the werewolf stuff, and uh, that that's one of our favorite Wolfman designs. Katie Elliott loved the recent Dracula. Ezekiel said, "Did you see Penny Dreadful?" Um, yes, I did see Penny Dreadful. Uh, I haven't seen all of it. I think I'm I'm in like the end of season two. I don't watch a lot of TV, remember? So. Um, but there, there are bits that I enjoyed, and there's bits that I don't enjoy. Well, I think me and Shannon got through. How much? I, I got through season one. That's and I put some of it on here in the shop. I so. Seen yeah, yeah. You're way ahead of me. Okay, checking, checking on camera. Camera is drying. I like that the different colors are coming out and through. I'm going to black wash over that anyway. But it's not dry yet. Oh, Big Dog probably has to go to bed soon. Because uh, he's a very hard working man. I want to show him his mask that I pulled. Now remember, I changed out the teeth on it. I wanted more universal teeth. Kolchak hold a special place in your park. Yes, Kolchak, the Night Stalker. This is a mask that Big Dog sculpted for me. And this is a like a screaming orc type mask that uh, will be used for promise masks. Okay. I would love to sculpt and make a mask of a werewolf in midship or form, snub nose and pointy ears, but teeth and brows and still human features. Yes, um, a lot of people want to do that. I feel that it's a very hard thing to do successfully, simply because caught mid-transformation, that's a moment in time. It'll make a good statue, it'll make a good sculpture, but it won't necessarily make a good mask. Because, oh, we don't want that. Don't, don't zoom in. No zoom. 40% less zoom. Now I can't tell if we're zoomed or not. I think we're zoomed. Oh, I did it. Set? Set. Andy 
be a pentano? Do you have any kids or just fur babies? No, 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 we don't have any children. The Crazy Hall says, I no love children. You. Love your help with their gateway monster movies. Yeah. Drop dead. Thanks for the help. That's what I figured, but I just wanted to double check for the pro. Also, when the clay hardens in the seal mold, do you put something in it like fungal before you remove it? No. No, you, you, well, you can, but normally at that point, it's a solid clay bust. I'm going to grab a couple things and move some air around. Dallas Smith, I'm one of the makers at Warehouse 31. We still use tips and tricks you taught us. Thanks for coming. Awesome, I love that. Hey, Angie Rogers. We'll be sending your uh, your brouch blank this week. So thank you again for your order. Uh, we have some George Clooney supporters. Hours <laughs> for me. Mike Murphy, I started watching what we do in the shadows because you mentioned it's not bad. It's fun. What's not bad? What we do in the shadows. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Celeste Kitty wants a wear Tasmanian tiger. Oh, breaking out the cryptids, are you? Head of Mojo. So Frankenstein's monster isn't a monster. The golem, there's no malice. Um, well, isn't he called the creature? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it depends on what version is malice or not. Sometimes there is malice. Uh, he sure, certainly wants revenge. Far with the dog. What do you think of the captain of Dog Calgary? I recently became fascinated with it and tracking the effect it's had on our culture. Uh, I, I think that Cesar is a uh, probably effective at the time, but when I was young, I'm like, people were scared of this crap. You know, I mean, I, I was not impressed. But yes, looking back on it, uh, the Doctor is, of course, the real villain there. And uh, he, he's the scary one because of what he do, does, the uh, somnambulist. Um, I think I'm saying that right. And I love the sets in it because they were this weird, impressionistic um, cutouts and shadows. And uh, I learned a lot about set work from that movie that I use in haunts to this day. Normally, the last thing that I do, aside from painting the teeth, is I do the red nose and ears. However, I have red in my airbrush right now. It would be weird for me to clean out the red, do blue, and then put red in again. So I'm just going to adjust my workflow a little bit and do the red ears. Tim Doggle says, my favorite Wolfman was Lon Chaney Jr. The design still holds up to this day. Big Dog getting a lot of praise for his... Uh... Um, yes. Yeah, Big Dog should. He did great work. Uh, that was a really fun process, uh, for me at least. He might not have enjoyed it. But he would do a little bit of work, and then I would send him notes, and then he would do more work, and then I would send him notes. Chad Smith, my rub-out issue was too much ink. I used very little ink and applied a fair amount of alcohol. It came out good. Thank you. Oh, awesome. I love to hear that, man. And, oh, uh, my favorite Wolfman is probably the one from Monster Squad. Uh, it holds a place in my heart. It's also my favorite werewolf transformation. It's, a, it's done in five seconds. He changes in a phone booth like frickin' Superman. And I love it. Anthony Pantano thinks we have made for amazing parents. Uh, we are. <laughs> which is why we have dogs. And Media, 77. Hello again. I love talking of monsters. What do you think is Bigfoot a monster or a creature? And do you think it can be intelligent? Well, it depends on, on the way he's portrayed. Um, I think that obviously if he is out in the wild and he is a creature, must, must, must like a bear is a creature, or a gorilla is a creature. It's just a Bigfoot. Um, in movies, a lot of the times he's a monster. And how can you say Frankenstein didn't have um, some degree of evil intent. Didn't he force the doctor to make him a woman out of other dead women's? James Minnick says hello. Hello, James Minnick. Ezekiel wants to know how the 
the stock is on fursuits. Ezekiel, we have not received anything new because of the, uh, the pandemic. So we have a small amount of fursuits. I still have yours. Yeah, yours is set aside and ready to go. Set for aside for next time I see you. Uh, but we do not have a lot of extras just because we haven't been able to restock. Everybody, yes, Joan Hughes here. Chad Smith says that's quite a troop of bells. Yeah. Phil <laughs> Hiller, I want to try to do animatronics when I start to make masks or other creatures. Okay, great. Do it. Happen and Mojo. Dr. Caligari and German Expressionism. For a while, all of Tim Burton's films have that aesthetic. Great for Beetlejuice, not great for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, I would agree. Um, I. I I can clearly see that influence on uh, Tim Burton, for sure. And uh, he has influenced others. <laughs> Katie Elliott said, huge group of horror and monster mad people melted the sound of a small gender feline. It's true. Everybody loves it. Big dog masks. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Great less learning tool and help all my skills. With uh, monster man experience. Yeah, love it. Rob O'Brien, what mask of yours do you recommend for a skunk ape character? I have a, I have a Bigfoot sculpt. I have a gorilla Bigfoot sculpt. I also have a um, Oranga Terror. Um, I, Oranga Terror is another good one that I would recommend for that. Cy Lomot says hello. Hello. You know, you could also probably do a nice one out of a beast mode mask. Yes. Head static. I'm planning on trying to make a few head forms using some kids' rubbery bouncy balls split open that filled the foam and formed into a shape. To help keep my mask shapes, do you think it will work? Hold on. What are they doing again? I'm planning on trying to make a few head forms using some kids' rubber bouncy balls split open and then filled, filled with foam and formed into shape to help keep my mask shapes. Do you think it will work? Why are you doing this the hard way? Why are you? Why do you? That sounds like a lot of work, and it's very convoluted. Um, I highly recommend purchasing a styrofoam wig head. This is the amount of work that you just recommended is well worth the four or five dollars you'll pay for a styrofoam wig head, because you're going to make something similar to a styrofoam wig head. Let them do that work. Focus your time and your creative energy on something that's going to get you ahead. Make something. Don't remake a styrofoam wig head the hard way. If you want to make a mask holder um, that is a little more free form, you can buy yourself a paper towel holder, the rod kind, and then a nice bowl from Dollar Tree, and you screw that bowl from Dollar Tree on top of the rod for the uh, paper towel holder. Um, and then you put your mask over that. But don't make it hard. You don't have to get something and fill it with foam. Um, just, uh, you know, just um, buy a styrofoam wig head. That'll work. We, got a, we have a booger. Oh. Dark Took care of it. $5. Gamer is really neat. Filled with meat. We love eating camera. $5 super chat. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for the super chat. Susan Atai says, have you seen Exists? It's a pretty good Bigfoot movie. Yes, I've seen Exists, right? I exist or Exists? I've seen Exists. I enjoyed it. Asylum Lonely? Okay. Do you have a question? Your question is, how old are you? How old are you? Um, if you have a question regarding what we're doing here, do. I, I think I'm 44. Am I 44? Or am I 45? 44. 44. My wife confirmed. I'm giving you one more chance to be polite, and then I'm blocked. Yeah, I'm so you know what? Out. So here's something that a lot of folks don't understand. I have to explain this a lot. And I'm not 
mad. I'm not angry. What I want to, we do things differently. YouTube, it is very common for folks to jump on, hop in the comments, be a jerk, and then, you know, and that's how they have fun. Um, we have a fairly unique community where we don't like or tolerate that here. So I don't know what brought you to my channel, but be respectful while you're here. Um, I'm making monsters, I'm sculpting, I'm molding, I'm painting. Uh, I'm doing a lot of painting tonight. So um, be respectful. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, hang out and watch. If you're not and you just want to be a jerk, we're going to boot you. And I don't want to have to do that. Okay. Mask slash says hello. Uh, hello. Rachel Powell says, heading home from my niece's sweet 16 private viewing. No reason to, I just put you in timeout. Bye. So uh, he says, heading home from my niece's Sweet 16 private viewing of Beetlejuice in a small little theater. My 16 year old is driving. Excellent uh, and frightening. Headstacks. Maybe you should be paying attention to the road Headstacks. and using that imaginary brake pedal that doesn't exist on your side of the floorboard. Headstack says, sounds great, thanks. I was thinking about a way to keep them in good shape while in storage. I wasn't sure the styrofoam wig head would work for my needs, but it is worth trying. I'm sure it will. And if, and if it doesn't, if, if it's not big enough, then what you do is you take a plastic like grocery store bag and stuff them up in there and let that fill it out. Spend your creative energy and the time you have to make things to make new things, not to remake things that already exist. Uh, I think that's a, that's a big weakness that we as a people have, and we're caught up in, I want to make things, so I'm going to make this. And, and sometimes it's, it's easier to buy a coat hanger than it is to make a coat hanger. I say that because I have designed a coat hanger. Andrew. BPC says, very cool work you do here. Why, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm about to switch colors in my airbrush. Rachel Powell's on Deer Watch. Mask slasher, so thinning my latex helps with teeth. How long should I extend the dwell time? I don't want to give you a pool that's too thin. Just pour the teeth and let that sit for 30, 40 minutes We're with just latex sitting in the teeth. And then pour the rest of the mask. And then do your dwell time as normal. Just give the teeth like 40 more minutes. So far with the dawning says, there are other places for nonsense. This is the house of the crab floor. Uh, Black Crab 27, hey, where's the cheapest place to buy, to buy a styrofoam head? A wig store. Uh, so here's the thing. Here is, here's the secret. This is a secret that not a lot of people know. If you go to a wig store or a beauty supply store, and even Sally's, which is a fancy beauty supply store, because uh, I prefer ones that are, um, they're normally like Korean or foreign owned. Uh, they have kind of cornered that, the beauty supply and wig store market. Um, and those are kind of my favorite. Um, a urban area is best uh, because they are gonna have more of the clientele who buy hair weave hair, that's what I like. Um, and they sell a lot of wigs. So, um, there, the people who want to display wigs on them, they want a nice looking styrofoam head. But in shipping, pretty often, the noses get broken or dinged. We don't care if the noses are broken or dinged. So normally, they'll have uh, five or 10 marked down wig heads with broken noses that are like two bucks. Or you can buy a new one for $3.99, $4.99, $5.99, depending upon the size and style. Busted noses. Boyd Spot says you seem to be getting more trolls lately. You need a good bouncer. Uh, we, we have bouncers, but they have to say something for us to be able to bounce them. And I am very big on giving someone a chance because the YouTube is the wild, wild west, man. They jump on and they can say whatever they want. And it is commonplace to be a jerk. Um, it's commonplace and it's accepted. And I will not accept that. I'm not going to accept that kind of behavior in a conversation with me. And I'm not going to accept that kind of behavior um, here on YouTube. So, but you have to you have to let them speak, and then if they do it wrong, you tell them the rules, and then if they do it wrong, then we get rid of them. So, 
It's my fault they're not bounced sooner because I want to be nice. I want to be as nice as possible. These are shapeable and impressionable minds. And some people enjoy that we say, hey, straighten up. You know, some people prefer that. They're like, hey, thanks. You know, I get it. I was being a jerk. Well, we also have a lot more people on now. And there's more people. There's 160 folks on now. When I was doing 45 and 50 people in a live stream, they were all very interested. Now YouTube, like Shannon said, is sending out my information quite a bit. So they're sending out my information quite a bit So um, to see if people like it. Well, maybe they just like being a jerk. You never know. That's static. It's the simple ideas that I lack in, and that's why I'm here. It reminds me of the key phrase I need to remember. Myself. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yes, I say that a lot. I I want the simplest possible solution. Anthony Pantano is working on more chainmail projects while he hangs with us. Very cool. Thank you, Hoyt's font. It's by I'm very good at reading comments. Uh, my wife is awesome at reading comments. I am blessed with some great comment readers and great moderators and a great community who also just jumps in and helps. Uh, there are a lot of folks on here who help out with answers um, because they know. Um, just a really great community that we have here. And of course, yes, my wife is awesome. Celeste Kitty says, good thing I wasn't reading the chat. I will get put on timeout after going after the trolls because I get overprotective of people I like and aggressive. No need. Don't do that. Relax. Mass Slasher. Crap, I already filled it. It's been like two and a half hours and 30 minutes. Two minutes and 30 Okay, well, I mean, is it humid there? Maybe you want a little more, you know? Uh, that's fine, just let it dwell, you know, three hours instead of the two. And I don't know how much you thin the teeth. Next, hello, it says, hi guys, I enjoy your videos, and I found this channel about a month ago, and it's been watching the live since it helps with my anxiety. Thanks for the content. Awesome, I'm glad that you enjoy it. Blackcraft27 says, thanks for the information. Uh, Talking about wig kids now. Thank you, Katie Elliott. Said we're lovely. Lovely. Let's see, Tony Ross said a ton of people. That's awesome. Yes. Well, I, you know, as they push out and there's more people, you're gonna get more jerks. Uh, that just happens. Chad Smith should have my latest mask posted on Etsy tonight. Way behind. Meant to have it up on Halloween. Life happens. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, talking about where they're getting their uh, all of their wig heads. Okay. Press them on, guys. Catch up. Okay. So, uh, have an emoji. What about the category of films with born evil kids? And the good son. When you talk about Kevin, there's lots of malice. Could the idea of being a born evil being considered supernatural? No. That's just a person doing jerk stuff. If they have magic powers, yes. But if they're just a jerk, no. What's on? Do you have a moisture separator in line for your airbrush? No. I have three. And I have a video of me setting up my air system um, that you could watch after this is over. Uh, and it shows my whole new air system that I did with uh, three moisture separators. Old man mode, debate. Well said. Not yet. Yeah. That's what the newspaper said. Uh, the, all of that, he was named after a series of incidents, and a newspaper coined it the phrase Bigfoot, and that's just kind of stuck. Sorry, regularly handsome. I'm I, pushing for it. Regularly handsome made a joke. 
says the algorithm. <laughs> he made a he made a pun. Oh, on me. got it. Sorry, I'm trying to. I can't read every single one of them. Sometimes I get back behind. I gotta keep up. Uh, big dog. Uh, what color and blue is that? Uh, well, this is a mix because this is the blue that I had left. Uh, I keep a couple of these guys, and when I have, yeah, it's this type of thing, uh, when I have extra of a color, so I have a green one of these, I have a blue one of these, I have a red one of these, and I pour that ink into these, that's what I'm using now. So this is a, this is a mix of sapphire blue, Baja blue, and a little bit of the silver is probably in here too, because I've been doing these guys for a while. I did. Ezekiel says, I love these Christmassy, masked, masks inspired. I've been a haunter my whole life. Like I do commercial haunted houses, uh, so I, there's never been a time where I did something else aside from this October, which was a little weird. Um, there's never been a time where I did something other than haunting as a form of income, kind of. Alan, did you see my lot type phone werewolf mask I made? Of an oh, I haven't yet. When did you put it on there? Well, see, uh, I have I have plans, but what I normally tell people is that um, they sell onesies at Walmart, uh, and they'll be selling them here soon. Um, they sell onesies at Walmart that look like a full elf costume. So those are great inside of a haunted house, you know. Or get yourself a red and white striped search, shirt. Get yourself um, a red like suspenders and jumper. You know, you have all you have all kinds of options. Oh, I'll have to go back and look. Uh, I don't see a lot unless I'm tagged in it. If you really want me to see something, tag me. It doesn't bother me to get tagged and stuff. But uh, I may not see it otherwise. Sadly, uh, Halloween time, uh, I get uh, hundreds of messages a day of people asking for advice or product recommendations or whatever for haunted house stuff or Halloween costume stuff or making things. And I try to get to those. So often, all of my online time is spent answering comments. Are you say are these for a traditional walkthrough haunt or something like trail drive? Uh, traditional walkthrough haunted house. Next slasher, where you get your hair again with the hair together on the my next mask will have stand, stand, standing single hair. Um, I get it from JBS Hair, which uh, or JSB Hair, and hopefully Scott is still on and can give you a link. Hey, Brian, no, no problem. You can talk to the pictures. Drop this video. Sorry for keep hovering you. What kind of silicone do you recommend when molding a monster face Also, I like the new intro you have on the channel. I was wondering how you make it. Thanks, Easy Flow Gel 25. Um, and the new intro on the channel, um, actually, I went to Fiverr. Fiverr is a website that does that, that you can, they have all these different video intro type things that you can choose from. And then you, you go to Fiverr. Fiverr, F I V E R R dot com, I think is what it is. And um, it's nice, you know? It's good. Go to Fiverr, and then it's like video stuff, and then they'll do your logo, 
with whatever that style is. Chad Smith smoked a meatloaf that came out delicious today. That sounds good. Sweet. Smoked meatloaf. Yeah. Kevin and Mojo, another Christmas sweater with a mask on it, with a hat or a hat situation. Uh, that's possible, yeah. Well, they all come with elf hats. Network Studios, the first Bigfoot movie I remember was the 70s. This documentary scared me from being in the Marines or the woods for a few years. Fun. saying how things are, you know? skeletal system. Um, or you could cover the legs and give them an exoskeleton kind of. That's another possibility. Um, with like a uh, fiberglass resin or something. But yeah. You need a skeleton in there. And now I did something on a few of these that I didn't do on all of them. I want to go back and fix this. That red is pretty harsh, so I like doing a little bit of the blue at the end of the red. Sort of blend them together and calm that down. This, this ear is blended, this ear is not. No, because haunted houses are not open for Thanksgiving, so I don't see a huge need for one. Justin Williams says hello. Hello, Justin Williams. Recommend right hands on the only thing worse than that was the scene in Salem's Lot where the young vampire kid was scraping on his brother's window. Straight nightmare appeal. You are not lying. That is still, it is still terrifying. Still terrifying. That was like, that movie was one of the first like movie <laughs> promos that I ever did. I was a witch on stilts in the theater for that because no one knew that there wasn't a witch in the Blair Witch, so I was a stilt witch. It was my first time performing a female character as a, as a guy, and uh, it was the first movie promo that I ever done. Uh, I had done several for Terror on Church Street, which were ballets and theater stuff. Uh, like the Dracula ballet, I was a bat, stilt bat thing. Um, and at that point in time, I had a side hustle 
Um, I worked for Camel Cigarettes as a barbarian. <laughs> and I would go to nightclubs as the Golden Barbarian because they had just come out with their seven <laughs> flavors of... I'm sorry. Basically, I was like a Golden LeMay gang. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. My good times. Awesome. Oh, my God. Um, and because they had just come out like seven flavors of the of the Middle East or something, and but you know that was obviously pre nine eleven where everything oh. Middle East was kind of out of favor for a long time. But yeah, I, I assume there's no pictures of that. No, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. Along with the uh, big gay sequin pirate that I did oh. at Universal. Uh, that costume, I think, is still kicking around 25 Rob years later. For me. He says photos or it didn't happen. I'm with you, um, But that was also, you know the mints that are like paper and they dissolve on your tongue? Like, those were invented, like, right at the same time as that gig. And I thought it was so cool because they gave me, like, this giant <laughs> case of these mints from Camel. I, I've never smoked a day in my life either, but I have worked for, and I don't really drink. I've worked for Bacardi and I've worked for, I was the bat, the stilt bat. And I worked for Camel Cigarettes oh as a character that went to nightclubs. I'm still, I'm sorry, my vision is awesome yeah. right now. It's yeah, awesome. yeah. It's, it's every bit of what you think it is. That's <laughs> exactly what it is. Riot Demon. I used the PVC mount from your Dementors video to paint up the Grim Reaper. Uh, I had. It worked great until it rained and then it bent to the ground. Should I get a thicker PVC or a smaller stake? Uh, no, it, it, it <laughs> rains and your prop got waterlogged and it weighed more. So um, you could just get a prop to prop it up when it rains in order to keep that weight off of it. You know what I mean? Because basically it just, it weighs more, you know? Big Dog says there are two different PVC, hot and cold. I just use the hot, it's thicker. Um, PVC pipes? Oh, For the yeah. Well, but, yeah, but I mean... You know, it's it's a it's a product of weight. You know, when it rains, they're going to be heavier, so they're going to hang down a little bit. When they dry out, they'll go right back up. So it all depends. You're still giggling at my golden barbarian. I thought I had told you about that. You know how sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'm laughing about something. Yeah, you're going to be laughing about. It's it's coming. I look like I look like Genghis Khan, but lots of gold and a fair amount of lame. I will wake up and I will I will laugh in my sleep and. I don't realize I'm laughing, but that's coming, so sorry in advance. Uh, Rachel Powell says, my parents had just built a, uh, built a house in front of some serious woods where Blair Witch came out to. One of my friends and I ran the car after that, and we got home from the theater. I hear you. Jeremiah Dempsey, are there any beard products to stay away from while wearing a mask? What a good question. Um, well... Anything that's like petroleum jelly based, anything that's like a salve like that, I would actually stay away from it because uh, like Vaseline is a petroleum, petroleum jelly, it's a petroleum based product, it eats latex. So a lot of those beard oils and things, they might have a little bit of that in it. Um, wait off, don't do it. Um, I, I would rather just a clean washed beard go in there, no beard oil, no, no none of that. Rob O'Brien says, and I thought me playing a nerd stripper was a hoot. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Mask Slasher. What is the oldest mask or outfit that you made in the past that you still have a photo of? Any way you could show us? Um, my oh, friend Yeti. Dan has sent me Yeti pictures from 1990. Okay, that's 96. Um, so I have some Yeti. Uh, I. If you remind me, honey, I'll throw some on the Creepers page. Oh, that's generous. Yeah, I'll throw some on the Creepers page. Ezekiel asks, are we doing a new Christmas song this year? I have some time to whip one up. I don't, but I'm actually shopping on Fiverr right now to get a video made for that one. Baba Daza, I took the dog out. Can someone fill me in on what the visual was? <laughs> okay, so the visual was, for a time, uh, for... About five months. I worked for Camel Cigarettes as a, you know, like the people who go out and hand out Red Bulls at events and things. But it was for Camel Cigarettes. They had just released like seven flavors of the middle of the Middle East or the East, I think they called it. And it was all these different like flavored cigarettes that they had out. And I was the golden barbarian who uh, introduced I, I was just like a, a party ambassador is all that I did. And I didn't drink or smoke, so 
I was not much fun at parties. And it was a gold, lame, Genghis Khan outfit, kind of. I mean, this, this is something, guys, I, I had no idea. I've never heard this story before. I've never heard it. I've heard about the pirate. I've heard about the rollerblading werewolf, but I've never heard this one. I've never heard this one. I, heard this one. I was young. I needed the money. That's how that went. <laughs> and it was, it was, I was, I, it was promo work. I was in a costume, and I was... Interacting with people. Got from the same person who would get me like stilt gigs. I also once played the bad guy from Mulan at a YMCA dive in movie. So I was the Mulan. Bad guy. Matt Slasher, how does teaspoon work? We're going to try to gear towards water now this year. If the world allows it, I would like to get some shirts made. Um, go on their website and figure it out, man. It ain't hard. They'll tell you everything you need to know. It's all there. Oh. Black Trap says you played Han from Mulan. The, the bad guy. I, I don't know his name. I've never seen the movie. But, yeah. Stan does. Um, Masato K designed one. <laughs> but they're swords. It meets your criteria watching you walk. Yes. James Stevenson says he used to do a haunted house at the YMCA. Yeah. El Copeland says Mulan even has a supernatural element. It does. There's a dragon in it. But you haven't seen it. No. It's a kid's movie. And it came out after I was a child. I did watch a lot of kids' movies when I was a child. Katie Elliott says, excuse to draw some fan art. Yeah, I assure you, I don't know uh, who the bad guy in Mulan was. But I know I played him. Scope. Katie Elliott, who would be your dream monster to play other than Beast Man? Wolfman. Done. Ding. What you done? Chest clock. Click. <laughs> Wolfman. <laughs> cobwebs and candlesticks. Hey, cobwebs. Cobwebs. Uh, what an awesome. Yeah, cobwebs sent us some stuff. Oh my god. Uh, wonderful, wonderful thing. So great. Thank you so much. So fun. Hey, JLR five three eight L M says hello. 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 Good night, Celeste Kitty. Good night.
Proverbs says, just wanted to show some love for all the extras. <laughs> Chad Smith, I don't recognize the sculpt on the table. Elf, what was it? Uh, and when did you do that? I don't recognize the sculpt on the table. This one? This is a, uh, hold on, this has a name, and I could have told you the name five seconds ago if I wasn't thinking about it. Um, Gruly? Gruly. This is Gruly. This was sculpted to be a witch, and because uh, I wanted the mouth movement and stuff, and I wanted to hide the lines of it being a mask without having a beard on this one. Um, so... That's Gruly. Uh, I think they have Gruly blanks on the website. We do. Are the masks going to customers tomorrow? Uh, not tomorrow. This is part of a big order, so it's going to uh, be here for a little bit. to shake this up. I add a bit of alcohol to it to thin it down. And uh, the best way to shake these up is of course the zombie snail technique. Put your palm over the top of it because airbrush bottles have holes in them. Thumb secures it at the bottom. Two fingers fold down. You now have made a snail. Zombie snail. All right. Mass Slasher. I gotta get off. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Alan, I'll send you tracking info in the coming days. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I am excited. Much excited. He's sending me a Doom Shroom, <laughs> which is lovely. That would be fun. Katie said, hee hee, zombie snail. Cat Swift, and again, sound effects are crucial to the mix. It is. So if there's no sound effects, it doesn't come out as well. Yeah, it's not mixed as good. I got it. Okay. Got it. 153 people are watching. That just adds a bit of a shimmer, is all. That That adds like a bit of a shimmer to it, and it makes it a little more wintry. Wintry! Katie Elliott says, my phone now automatically suggests snail after I type zombie. <laughs> As it should. Your phone is learning. That's great. I love my nice And I want that silveriness to be like a, uh, a highlight. So that's why I'm spraying it from above on those. So it hits all the top Scott, areas. Scott, all of our fat, yeah? You just put the really blank on there. Hooray. Anthony Pantana says your masks are looking good. Why, thank you. These are elves. No, Gamera's still coming. I did some base work on Gamera, but then, these are elves, so these are going to be, they'll have elf hats on them, and they'll have hair and beard and stuff. Um, Gamera himself uh, is coming. Uh, let's see if he's dry. Gamera is dry enough. Or stage a two. But see, now you can see that the different colors of green on there just add a little bit of variety. Uh, and it's going to get darkened up because Gamera is very dark. But now I have to paint inside of the mouth. Before that gets really difficult, I'm going to start painting the eyes.
Okay. Yes, and we kind of do that dark hour haunted house. We used to do eight different shows a year, and now we do five shows a year. Um, this year is a, has proven to be different, as has uh, for everybody. But uh, yes, we do a lot of different shows, and we swap out quite a bit uh, between shows. Did Gamera have a tongue? Gamera does have a tongue in there, yes. This is not a Gamera sculpt. This is a... Um, snapping turtle monster sculpt. So. This is Lisa. Lisa, is this yours? Yeah. Is this Lisa's? Lisa's camera? Yeah. I believe okay. so. <laughs> Ezekiel says, took my kids a few years back to Santa Land. They had witches and trolls. It was a magical place covered in snow. We'll go back again for sure. How awesome. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. Blackcraft27, do you guys sell hats on your website? Be a good monster maker hat. We do have some hats on our website. Bill Miller, my wife won't let me make that kind of stuff in the house. She says it will wake up at night and give her a heart attack. <laughs> there is a tongue in there. Can you guys see that? Thanks, Scott. Yes, Lisa, this is your baby. When I was sculpting this, I actually had to cut the top of the head off so I could sculpt the inside of the mouth, and then I put the top of the head back on it. This inside his mouth will get several colors, of course. A little beyond the scope of the normal mouth paint. But yeah, you gotta have something going on inside of here. I I thought that this might make a nice hand puppet at some point. So it is equipped. No. I'd like to start a retool of my Myers mask and have one metal two materials compatible. No, latex and silicone are not friends. The most silicone, platinum cure silicone, will not set up. It, it is uh, it, it is inhibited by the presence of latex. So I would recommend like a urethane or you could go with a silicone that is a tin cure silicone, you would probably be okay. What are you going to use for the eyes? Uh, well, I have a whole drawer full of eyes. Gamera's eyes look, honestly, they look a lot like googly eyes. I mean, it's not a whole googly eye, but they're pretty simple eyes until you get to um, Gamera, Protector of the Universe. That's when he starts getting a complex eye. So uh, I'm going to paint all this white, and then I have a decent eye that I'm going to put in up towards the top. Shannon stepped outside. Uh, yes, I have had some run-ins with snapping turtles, including I saw a snapping turtle that I bet was 200 pounds. Massive, massive, uh, dead, smelly snapping turtle. It was the biggest snapping turtle I've ever seen. Uh, scary that I was walking around in the water with it. Oh, 
gods and their priests. Katie, like it says, the gamma reminds her little Jim Henson puppet, like in the darkness. Yeah, uh, well, you know, Gamera's, it's a puppet costume, but Gamera's a big puppet, you know? Uh, that's what's really big on your white eye. Uh, I will, his eyes are pretty solid white, man, so I'm going to paint this white, and then I'll put an eye over top. He says, yes, very simple eyes. Very simple eyes. Larry Hughes says, just seen a silicone bridge mask. They said it's made by you. Um... No, I did make a silicone bridge mask. Silicone? Yeah. When? Last year. Last last Christmas. Yep, it was a repair job. Well, oh. so they sent me a foam one, oh, oh. and they asked if I could do one in silicone, and uh, it, it made a very specific way, um, and I did that. See, so, yeah. I team. <laughs> Melodici, I'm sorry, it says it's a chunky monster. It's a true chunky monster. Rodney Club says hello. Brandon D says that's a big boy. Wedge 9986, kind of a big standing turtle of the summer. They're cute. Yes, they are. Right, Demon. Have you ever been to Austria or seen videos of the Christmas parades? They have where they whip people. Yes, I have seen them. I've not been to Austria. I'll get there one day. Um, I'll get there one day. But uh, I have not made it for a event of that caliber yet. Maybe we'll go at some point in time. We have to stop working. Yeah. Yep. That's hard to do. We're bad at that. We're bad at that. Uh, mixing a little bit of flesh tone in with this magenta color. Out of the mouth. He's always shaking the camera. Yes, dogs are nuts. Ezekiel says, when you do your worldwide tour, to come see me. That's right. We need to Australia. We certainly will, sir. In the land of Ezekiel. For shred for dead. Stacy says that I should, uh, when I'm done, when I switch them out, cut them up and frame them and then give them away to people. And I'm like, it's garbage, Stacy. She's like, no, people will want that. I'm like, no, Stacy, that's garbage. Brandon yeah. I didn't wear my custom cat store in this Halloween. Moved, got COVID, still recovering, but got a sewing machine, started practicing. Goodness, Brandon, so sorry. Um, yeah. Take care of yourself, dude. Wow. Well, it's good to see you on. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm doing all right. Goodness, that's a, that's a tough combo. Yeah, and like everything you said, you know, moving is the worst. Moving stinks. <laughs> moving stinks. <laughs> Jeff Leach says, come to the Quad City. We have an abnormal number of quads for our area. Uh, Dallas <laughs> has a fair bit, too. Captain Marga, so I have to post my zombie standing girl picture on the group later. I found a guide out and angry one in my yard a couple of weeks ago. Ooh. Sweet. I cleaned that brush, I don't trust it. Ugh. Yeah, somebody could tell me, like, yeah, I, uh, you know, my car was hit by a satellite, I, uh, I lost my job, a beaver chewed my foot off, and I had to move. I'm like, oh, you had to move? That's terrible. <laughs> Moving's the worst. Yeah, that's the worst. We're never moving again. It's terrible. It's hard 
there. Jeff Leach, we have maybe 200,000 in the area and at least five haunts, including haunted Carter Farms. Katie Elliott says, being sick sucks. I moved six weeks ago and have been stuck in bed ever since really severely ill too. Send you love and sweet, but we feel better. And this is pre-rub out, so this is going to get a rub out done to it. And after I do the rub out, I will then do a couple more coats of white on the eyes. Puppet Master's on. Hello, Puppet Master. Oh my God. Yeah, the Puppet Master that you see on here is uh, he my haunted house partner for a very long time. How many years did we do Terra and Trail? Was it 10 years? No. No, 2005 was the first year of Trail. Okay. And when 2016 did we... before us. So 11 years. What type of paint do you use on your latex paints? Okay, I mix my own paint which I will soon be selling, but not quite yet. And uh, it is one third casting latex, one third distilled water, and then one third latex house paint of your choosing, color of your choosing, which uh, you want that to be interior flat. Those three things mixed together make a nice uh, um, flexible paint. And it has to be flexible in order to not flake off of the latex. Some folks try to use straight acrylics, um, yeah. Standing correct, the Tuppet Master's right, 2004, that was uh, the Triple D at the Delta yes. Ranch. And that was, uh, 2004 was the first year that we worked for you, the first year I worked for you. You were a magician. And, uh, and we never, we never left. That's kind of nice. Because this is a plastic, I think I can scrape off this uh, the paint off of the tusks to get a nice look. You know, if we go to Australia, Ezekiel, I, I want there to be one evening where we just have drinks and you play the guitar. Just want to sit and listen to you play the guitar. And I want to go yaoi hunting. <laughs> Maybe we can have a, a, a and play guitars, cocktail hour, and then go yaoi. Did you yaoi hunt at night? Uh, you can yaoi hunt at night, yes. Well then, we'll have a cocktail hour beforehand, and as you can play guitar, then we load up for yaoi hunting after that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bob says, I want to nab a kangaroo skull. Yeah. Katie Ellis says, I lived in South Africa for five years and I'm still scared of the idea of Australian fun. Yeah.
uh, I whipped clay. I took clay and dish soap, and I made a clay slurry with that dish soap. And uh, I, uh, yeah, that's what I did. Brandon Hello, Monster Tutorials. KBFX Monster Tutorials. Hello. What is it yelling? Uh, it is a Australian Bigfoot. Monster Tutorial said just added two more videos on smoking texture and then what about fixing a rat and broken mold? Cool. Zeke says cocktails and some guitar at the Creepers party at Trans World. That's true. Lord, how's that going? One thing that I'm terrible at. Is anything that you have to peel the back off of it? I'm pretty sure that this has an adhesive backing, but I can't get these two apart. Maybe it doesn't have an adhesive backing and I'm just ruining it. <laughs> that is also a possibility. Right now, yes. I'm just getting most of this paint off before I paint them white. Probably right. That's pretty good. I'm going to paint it white anyway, but that's most of it. These are uh, Easy Flow 60, which is a, a resin that I get from Bitty Mold Supply. Uh, it's a nice resin. And I made them in a little silicone mold. These were sculpted in monster clay. A lot of tiny stuff like this, things that I make silicone molds of, I will sculpt in monster clay, even though I greatly prefer wet clay for most of my work. Um, if I know I'm silicone molding, the monster clay is pretty easy to get out of that. Is it one of their featherweight resins? No. Nope, regular old resin. Easy Flow 60 is a, it's resin, there's a 120 and there's a 60. I use the 60, uh, that's the kind you're supposed to do for roto casting. Uh, I just like it. Robert Bowser says, unrelated, but I became an auntie today. That's awesome. Congratulations. Auntie Baba Daza. Sounds good. Cobweb says, just tried diamond clear resin yesterday. So far, so good. 24 hour dry time, though. Yeah. These also have a little bit of uh, texture and divots on them because these were sculpted to go into a different mask. Like I'm not in the business of making Gamera masks. This is, uh, this is the height of my Gamera side hustle that you see right here. Um, these are the tusks from a frost giant mask I made recently. And uh, 
they fit pretty good in this for gamma How friendly is latex to water? Could you use a latex appliance in a pool of water? Uh, you can, but only for a little while. It's going to break down. KBFX monster tutorials. I have a demon makeup that needs large horns. They would be molded separately. I might even do a lightweight foam filled latex pin or a lightweight resin. Um, yeah, I mean, or you could just make your horns out of uh, like EVA or something that's already lightweight. I don't know what the needs are for that piece, but uh, EVA or Loctite horns is what I'd go with. Warmonger says, if the mouth shuts, the tusks will poke his eyes out. Yep. If That's you look right. at the actual Gamera, he has the same boat. His his mouth is set up differently, and his tusks are actually back here behind his eye. He, he looks a little ridiculous. Alan, why do you sculpt the tusks from monster clay or the other clay? Uh, because monster clay is firmer, and uh, teeth, you want to get the detail that you can really only get with uh, with an oil-based clay. So it will it will capture more detail. The oil-based clay will most of the time. That's not an issue or a factor. Um, if I know I'm going to make a silicone mold, the one of the reasons why I don't like the oil-based clay is that it's, it is the dickens to clean it out of the plaster mold. Um, when, you know, I can clean a mold from wed in, you know, an hour with a power washer and just picking it out. But the, uh, the oil-based clay is just so much harder to get out. Level of fun done on him. Good night, Richard Glenn. I think the eyes are dry enough. I can do another layer on the eyes. Good night, Richard. Yeah, I'll probably cut off at 10. I did get a lot done today. You did? Or you did? I did. You did? Let's see it. Because tomorrow I'll be uh, finishing this and working on promises. I'll work on promises during the day so I can do this on tomorrow's live. And then. Uh, yeah, I have a work meeting. Captain Marty says I posted my zombie turtle pick on the previous. Sweet. Good night, Riot Demon. Okay, so uh, here we have a good start on Gamera. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this is going to be it for tonight. Uh, all this has to dry. Um, and uh, probably the next step on him is I'm going to do a little more lightening in the mouth, painting it lighter, and then I'll do a black wash over the whole thing, which is actually a real dark green wash. Uh, the same stuff I mixed up for the turtle wash anyway. And then um, I will finish his eyes and just some last detail painting, and then Gamma will be ready. But uh, yeah, this guy will um, get a lot of just texture detail, detail, textural detail. Lisa Aaron asks, Promise Lab next weekend? Promise Lab this weekend, Lisa. 
Uh, yeah, it's this weekend. So we we had an issue where um, some folks dropped out of the Krampus lab, so it was it was it was ineffectual. So what we did was we took Krampus lab and we put it on the end of the airbrush lab. It was airbrush lab on Saturday and then Krampus lab on Sunday. So now it's a full day airbrush lab, and then which uh, was supposed to end at three, and then will pick up doing the Krampus lab right after that. So people can use their airbrushing skills they just learned to knock out a Krampus mask afterwards. We'll all paint it together and just stuff, just like uh, I did a lot of that airbrush work here tonight. Probably upset the love is that's why it hangs on the wall. Well, I'm glad you like it. So gang, uh, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight. Wife, why don't you say goodnight? Good night. And the, the doggos have already said good night. You can out. see they're all conked out. Um, I say good night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we live in uncertain times, so uh, it might be worth it to make a little bit of extra effort to be nice to people, whether it's on the internet or uh, in person. Uh, and be nice to them from about six feet away. Um, have a uh, great night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, good night. Go make stuff.